I'm going to be chatting to one of the coolest hair and makeup artists around. She happens to have been the personal artist to One Direction, Harry Styles, to name a few. She's got over 3 million followers on Instagram. She's got a book. She's got a makeup range called Bleach London with her sister. She is, of course, Lou Teasdale. So I'm going to be taking you along. I hope you enjoy. It's our Lou Teasdale quick fire round. Right. Makeup or no makeup selfies? Makeup. <laughs> Eye makeup or lip makeup? Eyes. If you could only do one, which would you do? Makeup or hair? Makeup. It's always me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Babies, toddlers, tweens, or older kids? Our oh, toddlers. Thank you. Yeah. Coffee or shampoos? Neither. Massive pants or G strings? Massive pants. <laughs> Good girl. <laughs> Celebrity mum crush? Gwen Stefani. Good call, I like that. Routines or go with the flow? Go with the flow. I thought it might be that. Cooking or take out? Take out. Good stuff. We really want to get stuck in. How do you do it? Well, I think that every mum is balancing everything, yeah. especially working mums, even non-working mums. It's like life is hectic. Also, I need to find a balance to make sure that it looks is good and we're having lots of time together and things like that. So, Tell us a bit, about, a bit about Lux. She's six. Um, she's an unchild. I actually live with my sister and her husband at the moment. Okay. They've got a little boy. So she kind of has a sibling Aww. relationship. I had her when I was touring. Um, so she came around with us a lot. I'm not with her That was anymore. touring with One Direction? Yes. And what was that like having your little one with you? I never really had it any other way because I was yeah. pregnant when I met them. And um, where did the name Lux come from? Um, there's a Sophia Coppola film called Virgin Suicide. Have you yes, seen that? I have. So it sounds a little bit depressing, but it's a really cool film yeah. and it's four girls. And it's Kirsten Dunst, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Her parents are really strict and she was a really cool character. And I just always watched it and loved that yeah. name. Now you're a single mum, but you've managed to get this really lovely relationship mm -hmm. with Lux's dad. Yeah. I know there's going to be a lot of single parents out there that want to know the secret. How, how have you done that? It, even the term single mum, I don't like using it because I think that suggests an absent father and that yeah. just isn't the situation I'm in. We spend a lot of time together with Lux. Um, obviously other relationships, we really look after each other when those things come in, that's when it's more difficult, I think. Yeah. That's when arguments start flowing up and stuff because you're trying to factor somebody else in right. the equation. And I think that we've really looked after each other and dealt with the other person and mm. figured that out rather than kind of honouring the other person and dealing with that. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? And You've been respectful of each other. Yeah. You're also part of Bleach London, yeah. which is a a massively successful hair and makeup brand. How are you juggling that? So I'm traveling a lot less. Yeah. So I looked at school now. Um, I started feeling a bit like I remember being a little girl and yeah. I would have been upset if my mum went away all the time. So I'm touring less. Yeah. Um, the brand and the business and everything else that I'm doing is a, you know, it's all part of the bigger picture for yeah. us. And not being a touring hairdresser because once you make your money that way you can't come home. Right. Whereas the business and focusing there is really about getting my work work life balance uh, better. So tell me a little bit about the makeup range that you then launched for Bleach and with Bleach. So about six months ago we launched um, our makeup range. It's all cruelty free, majority of it is vegan. We've been, um, we're transitioning all of our glitter into biodegradable glitter. We've packaged everything in recycled packaging. Well, Channel Mum are championing the, the use of, or the lack of use of plastic for so many brands and helping to try and force all the hands of these companies to say, we don't need as much plastic. So, you know, you are using recycled from the beginning, aren't you? It's not just recyclable packaging. Yeah. It was already recycled once or twice even before. Now, something all mums are going to want are some top tips for maybe looking a little less tired. What's your go-to? There's a tanning oil from Tan Lux. I know it. It's really good. How funny, it's called Tan Lux. Yeah, I know. <laughs> yeah. That's really nice. You can just yeah. use it on your face. The and drops. It just, the drops. Tanning. You put it in your moisturizer and it can make you just not fit. You don't need a load of foundation yeah. on. Nobody's going to do all of that. Um, especially when you're busy. I always have my lashes done as well, so it's a bit of a slog because it takes an hour. So are these semi-permanent? Yeah. yeah, but I find if you get them put on, you've got your brows done, 
bit of tan on, you yeah. don't actually need a lot of makeup. You can kind of get out, go and do your school work, get to the office and feel quite good without even doing your makeup yet. Now, Channel Mum recently clocked that Lux lost one of her teeth and you showed it on Insta stories because you weren't there when it happened. Yeah, oh, do you know what? I knew it was going to come out and yeah. I kept... So she goes to her dad's half the time, so I kept getting it for like two or three days and I thought, I'm going to have better when the tooth comes out yeah. because... Was it, it the first so, Yeah, we were just so ready to go. And then she went back to her dad's and I had a lot of meetings in. I just, I got this text from and it was a video and I knew it was going to be a tooth coming out and I was like, oh no, it was our first time and she was still just like screaming. And, was she uh, so excited? Yeah, she was kind of screaming and then they got it out and then she was just like, oh, I didn't even feel it. Oh, yeah, I know. So then, but he always films everything so that he can show me. Nice. So he's filming it and then it just goes on Instagram because he's like that with his head off. Yeah. So Did you, yeah. Do you get the mum guilt for things like that, that you weren't there for, for something? Yeah. Well, you can't help it, can you? No, we all do it. I don't beat myself up about it. Yeah. I'll, I'll always wish I'm there. Lou, it's been an absolute pleasure. Thank you. Thank you so much for joining us on Channel Mum Meets. And you can see more of the Channel Mum Meets video at channelmum.com. And make sure to like and subscribe to Channel Mum, give us a thumbs up, and do whatever it is that you want to do on our social media. <laughs>